What's up guys, Shadow Vibes Paranormal here. I hope you're having a wonderful day, wonderful Friday. Uh, just to let you guys know, I am going to the historic Woodlawn Cemetery today, so I figured I would put this in the video uh, instead of just putting out a whole new vlog. Might as well just put, put the before and then going to Woodlawn and see where it goes. Uh, anyway, so why don't we get into some of the reports because I'd rather just get into some of the reports and tell you guys what I'm trying to focus on while I'm there. So there is one report of a lady in white. Now, I've been doing a lot of research and I've been hearing a lot of stuff saying that there's a lady in white and a whole bunch of different uh, graveyards and stuff, and they all, they're, they're all doing the same thing, looking for their child that they lost. So, one thing that comes to my mind is La Llorona, because back in, I don't, I don't remember when, I, I want to say probably 1800s, maybe, uh, 1700s, so somewhere around there, um, there was this lady who, whose husband cheated on her, so to get revenge on him, she drowned the kids. And then she proceeded to commit suicide. And uh, what she was wearing when she died was was a white dress. So, to me that kind of sounds like La Llorona, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I just think it's funny that at almost every cemetery that's that's listed, you know, not not just in not just in the area that I'll be in, but all around, you know, all around there's the same report. So I kind of want to focus on that. Now they say that once I enter the historic Woodlawn Cemetery, normally she'll be at the front gate now however there's only one report one report of it but anytime i went there just off camera i haven't seen anything so maybe once i bust out the spirit box maybe we can get her to come through or something and go from there now the pyramid Reports say that at the pyramid of John, uh, the newspaper association, or the Newsboys Association, uh, he, he started the business. Uh, they say that if you take a picture at the pyramid, you will get ghostly sightings or photos of, of John, possible John. And... And, uh, well, when I took a photo there, I didn't see anything. So, we'll probably try it, one with the GoPro and one with just the phone. And hopefully, it goes good. Um, oh, by the way, there is one grave that I missed. Like, during, throughout the vlogs and stuff, I kind of showed you the Civil War part. I kind of showed you the Lugwoods, which, which are pioneers of of the Toledo area. Um, so, so I kind of showed that. I think I got Reynolds, uh, grave on there too. He's also a pioneer of Toledo. And I think there was another one. I don't think I grabbed Either I did or I didn't, I don't remember. It, that's just for you guys where you go on the old video and and look and do, do your own thing. Um, the other thing I want to do is go to the Civil War part. However, I haven't seen any reports of ghostly activity for Civil War vets. Now, if you go on my community page, at Dutch Hollows, there was a bunch of, of Civil War era graves. And we actually caught a figure. So if you go on the community page, you will be able to see that. Um, 
but I just kind of want to go there. Something always drags me to the Civil War era, and it's just something that I need to do, you know? Um, now, me, I love history. Uh, I love Civil War type stuff. I just, any World War II era, World War One. You know, I, it's that type of stuff that I love. Um, but it's always good to hear. It's always good to hear uh, the veterans that fought in those wars. You know, even after after they died, um, because they have a story. And one thing that I want Shadow Vibes Paranormal to focus on is their stories. You know. Every, every spirit has a story that they need to tell, you know. Part of the reason why they're still here is probably because they still have a message for their loved ones or or they're just constantly trapped because they have unfinished business. So perhaps we can, we can help them towards that and that's what I want, really want to focus on. So... And there is a Titanic grave. There is one Titanic grave. However, I have not been able to find it. And I don't know if I'm like heading in the right direction or not. Because every time I go to Woodlawn, I get lost. So chances are in the video, you will see me get lost. Um, so, so yeah. But we are going there today. And there's a couple experiments I want to do. A couple apps that I uh, want to try. One is an SLS camera, which if you don't know what that is, to shorten it up instead of getting into all the uh, scientific words or whatever. Um, basically what it does is it maps out stick figures. So if there is a spirit over by you, it will map out a stick figure. So I'm sure a lot of you know what that is, especially if you watch Ghost Adventures. But this is an app called Ghost Tube. It is free. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews on it saying that it does work. So, and I did have, <laughs> I did have a uh, experience with it. Um, but we're, we're not going to get into that. It was actually kind of funny, but, uh, but yeah, because I didn't, I didn't believe it, so. I just figured that would be a good place to try it because maybe, maybe it'll actually work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. At this point, it's just a hypothesis. So, uh, the, the other app is, is like an Oculus. So basically it'll just sum up some random words and hopefully you should put two and two together. I kind of all right, guys, I am at the historic Woodlawn Cemetery. Right now, we're about to pass one of the founder's graves here. That is one of the founders. Or pioneers, sorry, pioneers. There's actually a bunch of them, but right now we're also about to cross the bridge. Um, some, some say this is where a witch is buried, I believe, on the other side. Well, not that's true, I have no idea. But apparently if you walk over this bridge, you will hear demonic growls and whatnot. Last time I was here, we didn't hear anything. It's actually half tempting to bust out the GoPro and grab the spirit box and see what we can capture. But I think as of right now, I think what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna walk over the bridge and be very quiet. All right, here we go. Also, if you hear anything in the background, just comment down and let me know. Um, if you hear that little, that little, uh, tapping noise. It's actually one of my keychains on my backpack.
All right, I didn't hear anything with my own ears, but if you heard anything in the background, please let me know. All right, so this one grave we're about to walk up on, I know nothing about this grave. However, on the back side of the grave, it looks like they messed up the door because I'm assuming the door used to be right there because this one spot always stays clean on it. And it's very, it's very weird. Because even when I seen a, a video of someone coming here during the winter, they even said the same exact thing. Because, right, here's the front. Okay, you got the front. Now I'll show you the back. The back always stays clean. So to me, it looks like this is where a door used to be. Now, whether or not it is or it wasn't, I have no idea. But I just, I think it's very weird and mysterious. Now, with that being said, I accidentally found the Civil War part, which is what I've been trying to find for about 15 minutes now. I told you guys I was going to get lost, so... Guess what? You guys now got a blooper and a little bit of a historic fact right there. Well, I don't really know if it's historic or not, but... But yeah, so... I will see you after the session at the Civil War part. Alright guys, so we are here at the Civil War part. This is one of the General's grave. This is Henry. And the cool thing is is that the horses right here are point pointing towards where Virginia is from what I've read anyway uh, sorry apparently I had to tighten this up it's been a minute since I used this tripod and hopefully the mic is working and hopefully it's clear audio too because I uh, last time I was here I accidentally dropped my mic cover and never got a new mic cover for it oops so with that being said all right we're gonna do we're gonna do an emf session uh basically if you guys don't know what this is is if there is something here the energy uh this thing will detect any energy and it will light up the lights up here obviously the green one is the starting one for people that don't know um also as you can see i'm pointing it towards my phone right now and it's not it's not going off or anything and i'll show you when you turn it on it'll it'll do a little flash thing and then uh and then it'll, it'll go back to the green light and normally if there is like one of my equipment goes off or whatever then you will know, but since I pointed it towards the phone, it's not going to go. Obviously, if you tap it or drop it or something, it's going to go off. So that's nothing paranormal there. See? It just flashed, which means it is now on. And as you can see, I'm not... Most people do this. I don't really like that because I feel like I can mess with something and make it go off without it going to. All right, Henry... Are you here? Don't be afraid to communicate. Alright. You know what? I'm just going to set that. Actually, give me a second. I'm going to set that down. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to set that down right here. Kind of put it right there because I think you should be able to see it now. Right. We're going to use my iPad as a spirit box. Okay. My spirit or er, the iPad does not have any. Any, uh, 
any data to it, so it shouldn't affect it any. Okay. I'm also going to put this up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about as it goes off here. So obviously if we start it up, you see that? If you get it too close, especially when it's speaking, you can see it go off. But it's in a different area right now. Okay, make sure this is all the way up. Okay. Now that we got that set up, Henry. Are you here with us? I think I just heard it, yeah. If you're here with us, can you make the K2 go off? No. No? That was a different voice, but that was clear as day. So you fought in the Civil War, right? Sorry, I'm shaking, guys. It is cold out here. It is like 32 degrees out here. So I am freezing. Don't be afraid to come through. Did you die in battle? Also, if you hear that loud noise in the background, there's a plane or something flying right now. Or possibly a helicopter. probably wondering why I'm not using the GoPro. I just decided to film with the phone for a minute until we get to the, excuse me, until we get to the Civil War part. This is part of it, but it's, it's behind his grave. Do you want to communicate with us today? If not, then I'll just be on my way. Also behind us, so let me stand up here because I was crouching the whole time. So behind us is is the bridge, which is where I said that you can hear what some say as demonic growls. Now I haven't heard anything, which obviously is what we talked about earlier. So there's that. Um, over there is the other general's grave, and I can zoom in. There's the other general. We're gonna go to his grave next. And then I gotta be careful where I'm filming because I think there's a funeral about to happen. So I gotta be careful, what was that? Okay, I gotta be careful what I'm doing because there is a funeral about to happen. I seen the tent set up as I was trying to find the Civil War part, but clear back there. I'm not sure if you can r really see it or not. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, right right there is the Civil War part. So we're really not too far away from it. All right, Henry, we're about to leave, okay? I just gotta zip my bag up and then we'll be on our way. Ah, I had a camera malfunction. <laughs> All 
All right. Okay. This app I'm about to use is called Ghost Tube SLS. I gotta take it out of the case real quick. Cause I need it for this part. Okay. Okay. So basically, this will map out any, any, uh, any figures in the area. And it's kind of hard to see right now. But as you can see, we're mapping out. James, if you would, would you show up? Oh. Can you stand by your grave? Or by the monument I'm at? Thank you. That was awesome. It just showed up and then disappeared. Can you do it again? But can you stay there a little bit longer so we can actually see ya? Don't be afraid to show. Oh, see? Ah, there we go. Thank you, we saw you. Oh, I mapped out again. The question is where? Oops. Right. See, so we keep mapping out, but I don't know. That's his family, that's one of the family members that passed away in 2008. So that one's more recent. Of course, we got people with loud motors. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, yeah, he showed up again. Um. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go ahead and go to the other app that I have. I not download. Ah, I forgot to download it, so never mind that. But thank you, James. If you came through today, thank you. Um, well, we'll be back again with an EVP session once I get once I get the recorder that I need. So, but thank you for coming through. This is definitely about to be the longest video. <laughs> Alright, if anybody at least is here, hopefully we did a justice this time um, instead of just and would like to speak. Everywhere. I guess this was sort of a vlog. If so, now's your time to do it. Actual you paranormal can speak into this mic. But if we didn't catch anything, then I guess it's just a vlog. I mean, it is what it is. So just because a place is haunted doesn't mean you get activity all the time. So I've been coming here couple different times and I mean I haven't really caught anything I felt like I was being watched by something and and whatnot but other than that I haven't really caught anything um, however we are about to go over the bridge again so oh you know what I should have kept that tripod out So I was going to try that experiment again, but uh, I think once we get the voice recorder, I think what we're going to do is walk over the bridge again and I think there's an animal down there, um, but basically what we're going to do next time around is we're going to take the voice recorder and walk over this bridge again. And, you know, if the legends are true that there is possibly something demonic on this bridge or near this bridge or whatever, and we hear that growl, then that would be the best, best, uh, 
EVP we could capture. But till then, I'm not going to do the tripod thing because I'm not even sure if it worked over at the Civil War part or not. But we will find out. And that is a giant ass hole in the bridge. <laughs> okay, well, that being said, I'm going to work my way up to the pyramid. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just take a couple of pictures to see if we get anything. Um, and that, that's about it, really. Um, I might do a little spirit box there. I'm not entirely sure because it depends on where the pyramid is and depends on where that funeral is across the bridges. Um, I don't really want to, to distract anything there. Um, so yeah. You know, really quickly, you know, just walking over that bridge and I'm trying to find the pyramid right now. I do find it kind of odd that there is a bunch of crows flying. And the other part that's weird is I'm kind of walking in the direction where that funeral is kind of taking place. Um... Obviously, I'm not there. It's just down, down the hill right there. But, uh, but I do kind of find that odd, and I'm not sure if that's like just an omen or paranormal or not. But I just, I just wanted to point that out. So, also, I don't think we'll be able to get to the pyramid because that funeral is down there. And I'm pretty sure I have to walk down that way to get to the pyramid. So, that being said, I don't think we're going to get to the pyramid today. Um, but I just, I, I kind of just wanted to point that out and kind of, kind of make you guys think. Like, what, what is your guys' theory on that? Because it is kind of crazy that they're all circling in the direction where that funeral is taking place. Um, oh, I just, I find it really, really odd. Uh, but yeah, so, so yeah, just comment down, uh, tell me what you guys think.